So at Rikers, there's a lot of death going on. Unfortunately, because the people in charge are not taking care of their business and treating the people in their care like human beings. So the squalor at Rikers Island is deplorable and the consequences of what is happening at Rikers could be deadly. I want you to take a look at these two tweets. Today, and I want to thank Tatro for getting this out there. Today, Rikers Island claimed its 18th victim this year, the death toll in the NYC jails at its highest since 2013. People are not just dying on Rikers Island. The jail is killing them through a combination of mismanagement, racism, and horrid conditions. It's a hell hole. And so the photos that you see in the in courtesy of the NYC Board of Corrections, you can see the squalor, you can see the filth, you can see what people are living in. So filthy floors sullied with rotten food, maggots, urine, feces, and blood, plastic sheets for blankets, cardboard boxes for beds, and bags that substitute for toilet. What Rikers looks like at a cost to the taxpayers of $1.2 billion a year. And this really disturbed me so much. And you know, looking at the photos reminded me, and I know that you know they're not just only African American people at Rikers. But it reminded me so much, this description reminded me so much of the bowels of the slave ships. Where slaves were side by, enslaved people were side by side. They could not turn to the left or to the right. And defecation everywhere and the stench everywhere. And to see those pictures, although there's not any comparison to what it was like for enslaved Africans and then their descendants. But just like a snippet of that bin made me think, wow, this is certainly a 21st century version of that in many ways. You're absolutely right that it is. And it is straight up modern day slavery in two big ways. One, because it's disproportionate who is persecuted and prosecuted for crimes oftentimes that were not even committed, but even when they are committed, it still is a completely racially unjust system when people who are in communities that cannot afford better lawyers end up in places like this, and those that can afford it do not. That means that we are living in a stratified unjust system. And then reason two is because a lot of people are sent to Rikers when they are awaiting trial. They're sent That's into right. A literal hellhole when they have not been convicted of a damn thing. And they don't sit there for a day or a week. They can't afford bail. And so they sit there sometimes for six months, a year, and sometimes longer. And these people die. A friend of mine, Eliza Orleans, is a public defender in New York. And so often, her clients and so many others get sent to Rikers because the system is unjust and does not value the lives of black and brown people. It does not value the lives of the people who are economically disadvantaged in this country. And they cannot afford the top tier representation that can and get them off on technicalities that have- and, and, ben, and Ben, just to a point that you just made, I want us to put up this the, the data point about where the United States ranks in terms of imprisonment. And the point that you made about most of the men and women held at Rikers Island are there for pretrial. Meaning they haven't been convicted of anything. Like we, I, I just want that to marinate for folks. I, I want them to understand that they have not been convicted of anything. And they're only awaiting hearing on the disposition of their cases. And some have lived at Rikers for years. Recently, both the population and the average length of the stay in city jails have increased nearly 30%. So let that marinate with that. And then the next slide that we want to show you is that America, again, ranks number one on the stuff that is not edifying. The number one in, in the world for imprisoning folks. It makes absolutely no sense. So again, the injustices in the legal system 
cannot continue to stand. We we got, oh Lord Ben, we got a whole lot of fighting to do. And they got me calling on Jesus a whole lot. 